here we go. Um, <laughs> um, I did get killed at the Mage Towers once. Uh, I was just wandering around, and I was I was being complacent at that time. So um, this guy, he was a ma uh, you know spellcaster, came along and uh, killed me after several hits. Hi, how's it going everyone? This is Fine Gaming Connoisseur, and welcome back to this last play of Mortal Online, the second era. Today you're watching episode 103. And so today, what I thought I might do is, uh, you know, initially I wanted to go to the jungles, you know, head there. Uh, but then I realized that uh, there's a skill that I've been wanting to get for quite some time, and, uh, and so that skill is... Uh, let me see, mental focus. So I've been searching, you know, through the Meduli uh, li library, and uh, it appears that it's it's not sold here. Uh, I googled uh, this skill, mental focus, and it seems that it's uh, being sold on the Animist librarians. So, uh, and I do know that there are a number of Animist librarians uh, scattered throughout the, uh, you know, Marlin, but. Uh, but you know, I decide to uh, head to the one. I think there's one in the uh, Mage Towers in Tindrum, and so I'm going to go there because uh, that's you know Tindrum is where I have most of my money stored in the bank. So I think it'll be more. Uh, it, it would make more sense for me to go there to go to the one at the Mage Towers, and so. So this skill is pretty important because uh, it will reduce the mana cost of my spells, and uh, so I want to go there and get the uh, try and get that uh, skill book. Now, of course, as you know, that Mage Towers is unguarded, so it's a very dangerous area. But uh, I'm going to try and go there. So I'm going to grab my horse. Okay. Grab a few things. Let's grab some color mine as well. Okay. And let's just hope that uh, there's no player killers today. <laughs> because I did get killed. Well, actually, I didn't get killed <laughs> last time. Uh, I was very fortunate. I was very fortunate in the previous episode. Okay, hunger is not too bad. So let's put on the equipment. Blinders, saddle, horseshoes. Okay. So let's make a move before <laughs> before any player killers notice that I'm out here. And what is this donkey doing here? Okay. So for those of you who uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't fit through here. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. So for those of you who are in Maduli and you wondering how to, you know, leave the uh, leave town uh, without getting noticed, uh, it's a good idea to you know find alternative routes and. Uh, and you know sometimes that would involve you you know taking a indirect route but actually there's no safe routes actually uh you know you never know when the next play killer will be so so a lot of times it's just uh you know uh it's just by chance so sometimes you will get noticed by play killers and other times you won't and you know of course 
you'll never know when you will encounter a plague killer. So, and that's why I say, you know, and that's why, you know, traveling is always a, there's always that element of risk. It's never 100% safe. So let's just hope that we can make it safely to Tindrum first, so I can pick up the uh, gold coins. Now, Mental Focus, uh, I believe, will cost 2 gold and 50 silvers, so, so I will need to go to, the, uh, go to my bank in Tindrum to get the money. So, so far so good, I'm not being uh, followed or pursued. But that can change very quickly. <laughs> so you always got to be on, on guard. Okay, so that's just... Um, rest our mounts. And, uh, and, you know, I just want to also uh, thank every one of you who have subscribed to my channel um, you know my uh, subscriber count is at 100, uh, 285 at the time of this video and uh, some I've got another 15 subscribers to go before I reach 300 and uh, and as before I will be doing a special celebration video once I reach 300 subscribers so and uh, for those of you who have not have not seen my previous ones, it's basically uh, I will be doing you know going around uh, you know in town. I'll be in town looking for you know I try and look for a new player uh, to help help out, and uh, and you know at the end of that I will give them something. You know I used uh, in the first one I gave them uh, gave the player uh, one gold coin, and uh, in the second one I helped. The uh, player, you know, get gets uh, undead heads for him. So, you know, I will try and do something like that once I get to 300. So, so yeah, I do thank every single one of you who have subscribed and uh, been supporting my channel. I really do appreciate it. Uh, it means a lot to me. And uh, also, uh, in the previous several episodes, I think it was uh, 98 and 99, I did start to uh, use, you know, time markers. Well, actually, they're not time markers. I would say I think I think it's more like um, skipping to certain points in the video. So uh, basically, it's points in the video where uh, I've placed in the dis uh, description where you can click on the time, you know the the time marker and it will take you to that point in the video so um, now I have read on several you know different ways to implement that but uh, you know I think for me that's probably the best best way to go because um, you know there are several other ways to do it but it's a bit more complicated so I decided not to use those complicated methods uh, so instead I'll just be putting you know the time markers in the dis uh, description and I think that makes it uh, easier for me and and it's pretty much straightforward and it does what I want it to do so uh, so I will be using that you know method to put time markers in my videos okay so <laughs> safely made it to Tindrum and uh, oh, is that guy flying? maybe he's just uh, training his riding skill okay so let me just um, just park my mount here actually maybe I should just yeah that's probably, that's probably easier 250 silvers all right let's go got the money so let's make a quick move We're not going to loiter. And I'm going to take the safer route. 
um, because if I were to go through the back alley, which is unguarded, uh, there's always that chance that I might, you know, be set upon by, you know, play killers. So I'm going to take the uh, safer route. And uh, let's just hope that uh, I can find the book that I'm looking for. And, uh, and I'm just glad to see on the forums recently that's, um, actually, is there an animus librarian here? <laughs> yeah, I just thought, you know, maybe I'll just check whether there's an animus librarian here, because I, I do know that there are librarians. Okay, these are brokers. Okay, so maybe not. Okay. Blank book vendor. Okay, I don't think... Okay. Yeah, so I was uh, looking at the forums the uh, the other day and, you know, I have noticed that uh, SV has hired a uh, an additional programmer uh, for the team to help them out with the game, you know, coding the game. Where am I going? <laughs> I hope I'm still going the right way. Um, okay, it looks like a a pretty dark alley here. And uh, so yes. So I'm glad that uh, they've hired a new programmer. I think his name is Jonah. Jonas or something like that. Um, so it's very good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, I think SV could definitely use more, uh, you know, more help on the uh, on you know bug fixes and you know tidying up the uh, game code and things like that. So all right, so we're almost at the mage towers, and uh, it's definitely much faster with a horse. So otherwise, it would have taken a lot longer for me to travel. All right. Okay, so my heart is starting to beat faster because you know, I'm approaching the uh, the area that's unguarded, and that's the mage towers. And it does seem like they fixed the uh, the terrain as well. The wall looks a lot better now compared to before, so that's that's a good that's a good sign, you know. It's because um, I do seem to notice that this area was um, was one of those neglected areas. You know, there wasn't much. Uh, you know, work being done on this area, um, but I'm I am glad to see that the you know the uh, the, pa the pavement is um, looks much better now, and uh, I think the terrain here also looks much better. Okay, so we're almost. Wow, look at this! Look at the scenery. It's glorious. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Um, <laughs> um, I did get killed at the Mage Towers once. Uh, I was just wandering around, and I was I was being complacent at that time. So um, this guy, he was a ma uh, you know spellcaster, came along and uh, killed me after several hits. Okay. Um, okay, I think I'm going the wrong way. There's supposed to be a Yeah, I'm supposed to go going up to the path there. Actually, maybe it's supposed to here. Whew, okay. Let's hope we make it. Because uh, I don't want to lose this horse. This is a very good horse. Agent Bender, where is the... Okay, where is... The, here we go. Alright. Stop, stop, stop. Ok, 
Okay, um, let's focus. Yay. <laughs> and we'll read it. We'll read it straight away. Ooh, alright, we did it. <laughs> so glad. Let's get out of here. For a uh, spellcasting red player comes along. Oh. <laughs> Wrong way. <laughs> Come on, horse. Don't do this to me. And don't walk off the. Don't walk off the platform. Phew! Well, that was uh, pretty tense. Alright, so we accomplished what we set out to do, and that was to get the uh, Mental Focus book. So, very happy. So let me just get myself back to... Okay, so I will... I'll just ride to... ride back to, you know, Tindrum City Square. Alright, so in the next video, uh, hopefully I can make my way to the jungles. Now I'll probably make my way there uh, via Maduli. Now, I've not been to the jungles through Maduli, but uh, you know, just from my own intuition, I think I do know the general direction to head to and how to get there so so yeah I think I will uh, go to the jungles through Dooley and uh, so it should be quite fun you know I do want to get my hands on some uh, lizards, lizard scales so yeah I do want to uh, craft some Tundramic scale armor because um, I do remember uh, some time ago uh, last year uh, there was there was a, you know, a group of very kind players uh, they you know they got me a suit of uh, Tundramic armor uh, made out of uh, killed scales so I was very happy with that suit of armor until you know I tried to go go to Galcor and then on the way there I got uh, PK'd uh, so I lost that suit of armor, which was, uh, yeah, wasn't very, I <laughs> wasn't very happy, but, uh, well, you know, things like that happens. So, okay, so, everything's looking good. Regent Bender. Trader. Oh, so what does he sell? Okay, so you can't um, you can't interact with NPCs when when you're in a mount. Hmm. Okay. All right. I thought he might sell something interesting. Guess not. Okay, so maybe I'll just uh, end this video here. So thank you all so much for watching, and uh, and if you enjoyed it, please do uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share. So I look forward to seeing you next time. This is Fine Gaming Connoisseur. Take care.